The Idaho Transportation Department's Division of Aeronautics manages more than 30 of Idaho's most beautiful backcountry airstrips. Many of these destinations are located in remote backcountry locations, making them difficult to access. Pilots planning on flying to these locations should plan ahead and have experience in mountain flying. We recommend that you take your first trip with an experienced pilot or instructor. Smiley Creek, or U87, is one of Idaho's premier backcountry airstrips. It is located 20 nautical miles southeast of Stanley, Idaho, in the Sawtooth National Recreation Area. The following procedures are designed to ensure you have a safe and enjoyable trip. Before traveling to Smiley Creek, be familiar with high-density altitude operations. Smiley Creek Airport is above 7,000 feet. There are arrivals to Smiley Creek from the north, south, and west. Arrivals from the southeast follow Highway 75 northwest from Sun Valley Ketchum area, through Galena Pass, and into the pattern for Smiley Creek. Arrivals from the west and south generally follow Highway 21 from Boise, past Warm Springs and Cape Horn, where the road bends back to the southeast. This route passes Stanley and Redfish Lake on the way to Smiley Creek. An alternate arrival from the southwest follows the Boise River through Weatherby and over Atlanta and into the valley over Alturas Lake. This route requires crossing high, rugged terrain with very few options for emergency landings. Make your initial arrival calls and position reports on 122.9, at least five miles out from the airport. Caution. There could be numerous airplanes departing and arriving north of the airfield. Position reports, traffic scans, and use of landing lights are essential during arrival. Normal traffic flow for Smiley Creek is to land on runway 14 and depart on 32. Landings on runway 32 are discouraged unless wind and weather conditions make landing on 14 unsafe. Pilots should circle the airfield prior to landing. Conduct a standard left-hand pattern that includes an upwind, crosswind, downwind, base, and final. Make sure you know what's moving on the ground. Look for sprinklers and cones, animals, pedestrians, and moving aircraft. This is also a good time to run through your checklist and pick a place to taxi clear and park. Irrigation pivots in farm fields to the north of Smiley Creek provide good references for one mile and half mile final for runway 14. Continue to make normal traffic pattern position reports. Configure your aircraft to canyon maneuvering speed. Energy management is crucial. You're too fast or too high. It's time to make an early decision to go around. When executing the go around, climb down the runway at the appropriate climb speed for your aircraft. The high density altitude will significantly degrade your climb performance. Rising terrain to the south and the east will impact your turn to crosswind. Lower performance aircraft will likely need to extend around the hill to the east of the field. Pilots should declare their intentions prior to taxi on 122.9. Landing traffic always has the right of way. Runway 32 is the preferred runway as it heads toward descending terrain. Departing from runway 14 is strongly discouraged as the takeoff direction heads towards rising terrain. This coupled with high density altitude conditions have contributed to accidents at Smiley Creek. Using the whole runway is recommended to deal with the high density altitude. Once your aircraft is airborne, expect decreased climb performance. Continue to make position reports outbound on 122.9. Caution, Smiley Creek in the afternoon can get swirling crosswinds coming off Alturas Lake. Due to terrain and trees, it is common in the afternoon to see big changes in wind direction while traveling down the runway. We have multiple wind socks to help you determine if you are facing challenging conditions.
If conditions dictate, landing on runway 32 is straightforward with base leg over a hill. References for one mile and half mile final are indicated here. We hope you enjoy your visit to Smiley Creek. Flying in the mountains of Idaho is a serious, challenging endeavor, and a number of recent accidents attest to that fact. Safe backcountry flying requires rock-solid skills in slow flight, airspeed control, intimate knowledge of your aircraft performance, and well-prescribed personal limitations. Most of all, safe backcountry flying requires the proper attitude, one that is safe, conservative, and professional. A safe flight is a stress-free and enjoyable flight.